A Boeing 737 crash-landed into a river in Florida on Friday after sliding off a runway at the Jacksonville military base during a thunderstorm. All 143 people on board were rescued, with more than a dozen people taken to the hospital. The plane had arrived from the Guantanamo Bay Naval Station in Cuba. Pictures show the fuselage fully intact, floating in shallow waters of the St. John's River at the end of the runway. The aircraft appears to be from charter carrier Miami Air International, which is contracted by the military to make round-trip services between Guantanamo Bay and the U.S. mainland. The airline couldn't immediately be reached for comment. The aircraft involved is a different Boeing model to the 737 MAX 8, which has been involved in two fatal crashes and remains grounded worldwide. One of the passengers from Friday's crash landing told CNN most people on board were connected to the military and that, quote, the plane literally hit the ground and bounced, and it was clear the pilot did not have total control of the plane. A Boeing spokesman said that the company was aware of the incident and was gathering information.